When you hear the words hurricane and typhoon, you probably imagine massive swirling storms tearing across the ocean, unleashing fierce winds and torrential rain. But here's a question. Are hurricanes and typhoons actually different things or just two names for the same terrifying phenomenon? The answer might surprise you. In this video, we'll break down the real difference between hurricanes and typhoons, where they form, how they're named, and why they can be both fascinating and destructive forces of nature. So, let's dive into the science behind these colossal storms and find out once and for all what sets a hurricane apart from a typhoon. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Before we can understand what makes hurricanes and typhoons distinct, we need to talk about what they actually are. Both hurricanes and typhoons belong to the same family of storms known as tropical cyclones. A tropical cyclone is a rapidly rotating storm system characterized by a low pressure center, strong winds, and heavy rain. These storms form over warm ocean waters specifically when the surface temperature is at least 26.5 degrees Celsius or about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Warm, moist air rises from the ocean surface, creating an area of lower pressure below. As more air rushes in to fill that low pressure zone, the Earth's rotation causes the storm to start spinning. Over time, this system can intensify organizing into a powerful storm with clearly defined features such as the eye, the eye wall, and the spiraling rain bands that can stretch hundreds of kilometers across. So if both hurricanes and typhoons are types of tropical cyclones, why do we have two different names? The answer is simple. It all depends on where the storm occurs. The word hurricane is used for tropical cyclones that form in the Atlantic Ocean or the Northeastern Pacific Ocean. Meanwhile, typhoon is used for the same type of storm that forms in the Northwestern Pacific Ocean. If a similar storm occurs in the Indian Ocean or the South Pacific, it's usually just called a cyclone. In other words, the only real difference between a hurricane and a typhoon is geography. They are identical in structure and behavior. We simply use different regional names for the same natural phenomenon. But where did these names come from? The word hurricane originates from huracan, a name used by the ancient Taino people of the Caribbean to describe their god of storms and chaos. When Spanish explorers encountered these powerful tropical storms in the Caribbean, they adopted the term. Over time, the English language turned hurricane into hurricane. On the other hand, the word typhoon has a more complex origin, with roots in several ancient languages. One theory traces it back to the Greek word typhon, the name of a monstrous storm god in mythology. Another links it to the Chinese word typhoon, meaning great wind. Interestingly, both words evolve separately in different parts of the world, yet they describe the same natural event, a reminder of how universal humanity's experience with powerful storms has been across cultures and centuries. Now, let's take a look at where these storms form. Hurricanes mainly develop in the Atlantic Ocean, affecting regions like the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the eastern coast of the United States. They can also form in the northeastern Pacific, where they sometimes impact Mexico or drift harmlessly out to sea. Typhoons, meanwhile, are most common in the northwestern Pacific, particularly affecting countries such as the Philippines, Japan, Taiwan, and China. Because the Northwestern Pacific is the warmest ocean basin in the world, it actually produces more tropical cyclones than any other region, 
making the Western Pacific the most active area for these storms on Earth. The seasons for these storms differ slightly too. The Atlantic hurricane season officially runs from June 1st to November 30th, peaking around September. Typhoon season, however, can occur year-round, with most storms developing between May and October. This means that countries in Asia, especially those near the tropics, often have to be on alert much longer than regions in the Atlantic. So, are typhoons stronger than hurricanes? Technically, the processes that create and power them are the same, but the storms in the Western Pacific can sometimes grow larger and more intense. This is mainly because of the vast expanse of warm ocean water that fuels them. Meteorologists measure the strength of these storms using the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale, which classifies them from Category 1 to Category 5 based on sustained wind speeds. A Category 1 hurricane or typhoon has winds between 74 and 95 miles per hour, while a Category 5 storm has winds exceeding 157 miles per hour. However, in the Western Pacific, agencies like the Japan Meteorological Agency and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center use slightly different systems to categorize typhoons, such as labeling them as severe typhoons or super typhoons. Despite the naming differences, a super typhoon in Asia and a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic pack about the same devastating punch. So to sum it all up, hurricanes and typhoons are essentially the same type of storm. Tropical cyclones powered by warm ocean water and characterized by low pressure, strong winds, and heavy rain. The only real difference lies in where they occur. If it forms in the Atlantic or Eastern Pacific, it's called a hurricane. If it forms in the Western Pacific, it's a typhoon. Different names, same power. But regardless of what they're called, these storms remind us of nature's incredible force and the importance of understanding and preparing for them. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.